Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Natalie here, back with another channel message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well today. So let's tap into this energy. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone, but if you need clarity, you're more than welcome to email me. All right, uh, my info is in the description box for you down there below, all right? So let's tap into this energy. Let's see what's going on. I was getting a few downloads, okay? I'm getting like a wiping away, okay? Um, I heard the word grime. So there's something here like um, really covering something in your life and you're being called to wipe it away or it's being wiped away. Um, and I was getting something about like, uh, you know how you watch those satisfying videos um, on TikTok or YouTube and it's like someone just like simply cleaning something or like um, wiping something off and how satisfying it is. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Like, something here is being wiped away and it's satisfying when you do it. Okay. So, we have heart, home, compassion. Someone here has a lot of compassion for you or this is like a compassionate situation. I feel like you carry everything um, out of the right place in your heart. Commitment, compassion is really what I'm getting from that. What is this? Okay, so we have... Eyes of the Eagle, rising above the fray in the reverse. Someone out here, um, just be careful of not having too much compassion in somebody because I feel like you won't be able to see something. You have beginner's, beginner's mind, limitless possibility, the universe is your partner. Yeah, the falling angel, spiritual, spiritual narcolepsy. Someone here doesn't want you to see something, okay? So, yeah, keep your heart open. I'm getting that. You know, I never... Um, encourage anyone to close their heart but i feel like this has a lot to do with what you call home okay i'm getting a lot of cancer energy with that also taurus i'm getting a lot of cancer and taurus energy in my readings lately um something here feels like home all right Let's see. Yeah, the higher heart activation. Dropping shields, divine love. Your heart is healed. See the bigger picture. All right. Maybe it's a little bit hard for you guys to trust as of right now. Maybe in this situation, spirit wants you to drop your guard just a little bit. Maybe there could be someone around you that you're not supposed to be dropping your guard around for sure, but there, it's like spirit still wants your heart open for a specific reason, okay? So you might not even know the person that you might have to eventually open your heart to, all right? Let's see what else. We have reflect on your priorities. I feel like right now, stay in the energy of just like focusing on the work that's in front of your face, okay? Not getting too spiritual about anything right now. Just focus on your priorities because I feel like when you do this, it's going to like help clear out some karma. We have Octorian light codes, evolutionary downloads, recalling power and future thinking. I feel like this is your guys' energy because I feel like um, when you're a leader, you have to work out of this. Reflecting on your priorities, not anyone else's priorities, okay? There's a boundary that you have to put up there. And, but at the same time, being compassionate. Coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolution. There could also be like some sort of coming together between you and another person that your ancestors want you with. You could be like thinking a lot about this or maybe thinking too much about this. Like when you think too much, you kind of ruin everything, Okay. Reflect on your, just reflect on your priorities right now, though. I feel like you have a specific job. Okay, rest to reconsider and receiving. Yeah, it's like you might not think that something is that easy, but it is. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and trust my inner guidance. Something here is, a little, is easier to receive than you think it is. This could have to do with a relationship. Yeah, coming together. It's like someone wants to give you something or hand you something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, heart chakra. Wow. Okay, so someone here has deep feelings for you. All right, guys. Dreams coming true. This may be someone that you've always wanted or someone here that can make your dreams come true. There's a lot of green out here. Okay, so Spear said this is your path. Dear Lord, help me to trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. See? 
someone here has fears and illusions about this uh, relationship. They don't feel like it's, they, I don't know, they feel a little bit too open with this person. Or they feel like this person is a little bit too open with them. Someone feels like this person, you may feel like this person is a little bit too open with you. You may wonder what they want. Spirit is confirming that this is your path or this is your person. I don't know who this is for. We have grief. Tears are what happens when ice in the heart melts. You probably went through a lot of grief. Someone here may be uh, witness you go through a lot of grief. Or this person has been through something the same way as you have. And they want to come together with you. And then look, we have companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. I feel like someone just wants to be in your energy. They don't want to um, use your energy. I feel like someone here just wants to be in your energy. We have deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul would begin to long for non-grasping attachment and surrender. They bring us the peace of God. This, If this is a relationship, this relationship is not toxic at all whatsoever. I feel like this person is like very mature. You may have seen this person before in another lifetime. There's some sort of change or some sort of shift. Maybe it just came out of left field. Give me one more. Allowing. This came out of left field, guys. Radical acceptance says yes to reality any given moment so what's needed can come next. Looks like Spirit is saying give this a go. We have self-esteem, humor, freedom, blame, and service. Self-esteem and humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. This could be someone that likes to laugh or likes to make you laugh. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This person, like they want you to be free. They're also free. This is interesting. Let's clarify. Uh, yeah, we have the lovers, but we have the five of swords here. So there could be someone out here that doesn't want this to happen. Or with the five of swords, it could be your own mental conflict. King of swords in the reverse. Okay, this could be um, someone that doesn't want this person to come together with somebody. All right, clarify coming together. Or someone um, attacks your self-esteem so that you can't find people like this. People that just want to love you for you or be in your energy and make all your dreams come true. All this green is a lot of open, open heart chakra energy. Clarify coming together. You could be surrounded by people that don't want you to realize that this is possible. Two of Cups in the reverse is here. With the Two of Swords in the reverse, there is a breakup out here going on though. The Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to save money or think or plot or think of, like someone out here is trying to think of something. I'm also going to like if there's a feminine energy here, there's a feminine energy that's like very well off on her own and she needs... You know, how the Nine of Pentacles is. She needs one more pentacle. Yeah, the Queen of Swords out here at the Hierophant. She's very smart. She really knows what she deserves. She's very aware, okay? Spiritually, mentally, okay? She knows what's going on. So someone out here knows what you deserve out here. Why the Two of Swords in the reverse? Page of Swords. Someone got out of a breakup or, yeah, they just got done with a breakup. Now they're watching you and someone's watching this person watch you. Yeah, the Queen of Swords out here. You could, might not be talking to this person because you're like, I'm here and like you are like not even here with this Hierophant energy. You could just like be spiritually elevated right now. Clarify the heart chakra. The star in the reverse. The emperor in the reverse. And the seven of wands. Someone's trying to block a relationship. I'm also getting like, uh, there could be a father figure or some sort of boss figure out here that just, they dim people's light. They mess, they mess with people's dreams. Yeah, that's why we have dreams coming true out here. Someone likes to make you feel like um, you'll never find that person. Clarify the emperor in the reverse. This could be like a father figure or a, or a boss figure. 
Uh, someone that likes to control people's dreams or something. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very deserving of a husband energy. Three of Pentacles. Someone that's really dedicated to their work and very strong and resilient out here. Queen of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Cups out here. Yeah, someone out here is really... Um, it triggers someone's self-esteem that you have this quality. Could be male or female. Could be a third party. Three of Pentacles with three of Swords. It triggers self, someone's self-esteem that you have this quality within you. So they try to like... Um, First of all, they think that they're blocking your heart chakra, but they're not. I feel like your heart chakra is wide open no matter what you've been through. Clarify dreams coming true. That's why you're getting your dreams in the first place. Because if your heart was blocked, you wouldn't be getting your dreams anyway. We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, something here is backfiring on somebody. Someone here feels blocked. And the moon in the reverse. I feel like things are going to become revealed. Whatever. Okay, so we have the Hierophant. So God is here. He's working. He's at play. Seven of Wands in reverse. Judgment in the reverse. And the Ace of Cups and the Devil in the reverse. Yeah, there's some sort of spiritual war going on when it comes to your dreams and things like that right now. I feel like there's going to be secrets that come out really, really fast. Because things have backfired on, onto somebody. Clarify the moon in the reverse. It's like when your dreams come true, someone's energy is like um, exposed or something. Yeah, the three of wands in reverse. Someone here isn't getting what they thought was going to happen. Or someone really thought your dreams weren't going to come true. Or they thought that you would never find that person. Or th they thought that you wouldn't have like this quality of yourself. Seven of wands in reverse with judgment in the reverse. It's like... Letting you live life the way that you live life because they figure that you're you're too um, vulnerable to stand up for yourself or something like that. That was the wrong judgment. Someone out here thought that you would not also defend yourself when it came to something. Clarify your path. Help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Four of pentacles in the reverse with the ten of wands. The Ten of Wands represents burdens, but I don't feel like these are your burdens. I feel like you're letting it go. I just saw one, two, three, four on the clock. You guys are releasing things. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Nine of Cups in the reverse, and the Sun. Yeah, someone's energy, someone's personality, someone's hidden motives are being exposed because you drop burdens. Because you trust that there's a plan far beyond what you can see through your fears and your illusions. Yeah, temperance out here. Clarify the four pentacles in the reverse. I'm also getting like the energy of ownership. There could be things that someone here wants you to fight over ownership with and you're not doing that. Yeah, the two of wands. Your path is not holding on to this. I feel like you're letting someone else carry their own burdens or carry these burdens and not you. We have the four of wands out here and the death card. Your relationship with someone is changing. Five of cups in the verse, the page of cups in the verse. Yeah, you have no remorse for this. It's like you're not going to be in the energy of loss or letting things. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's an ex out here or someone around you that just wants you to feel like you don't deserve something. That's what I'm getting here. Clarify grief. Tears are what happens when... The ice in the heart melts. Grief. People grieve in different ways is what I just heard. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in the verse and the Eight of Cups in the verse. Someone here didn't want you to um, release the past. They didn't want you to do that. They didn't want you to get over it. You got over it. Knight of Cups in the verse, the Three of Swords in the verse, you've healed. I feel like someone also was in the energy of like continuously trying to... Um, act malicious towards you to like keep you battered up but you're not in that energy you're the queen of swords now i feel like when you went through grief you transformed from the queen of cups in the reverse to the queen of swords that's like a harsh transformation that's going from being like a a clingy codependent 
you know, how she, in this, in this Queen of Cups card, she got puppies all around her, right? So if she's in the reverse, she's not really caring for, like, she's caring for the wrong things or something like that, or they wanted you to be, like, over-emotional and care too much about something and never move on. If you didn't get what you wanted, you're not that. You're the Queen of Swords. You're the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords don't care about nothing. That is a drastic change. It's like you got out of your emotions, start getting in your headspace, and everything started to make sense. Clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse, abuse. They wanted you... Okay, judgment. Yeah, judgment is being called on this because this can't keep going on. Uh, Knight of Swords out here with the Strength card in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting like this person's abuse or whatever they're doing here, whatever tactic they're doing is not working. Um, they can't hold on to you anymore. It's wearing off. This could be one of those dark love spells. This King of Wands energy could be a cheater. King of Wands in reverse of the Queen of Cups in reverse. Imagine them in the relationship. He's doing all the cheating. She's doing all the crying. This is exactly what they wanted. They wanted the relationship to be. This is exactly what they think a relationship is. No. Companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. You deserve companionship. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here. You're, you get good karma out here. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant in the reverse. So someone out here could be actually getting a divorce. Three of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Someone really didn't think that you would get up and fight for yourself. Someone wanted you to feel like there was nothing to fight for. Clarify the Hierophant in the reverse. Some of you guys are getting out of a um, marriage that had no love in it. Like a, a full-blown marriage where you guys actually went to the church and everything, but there's no love. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse in the Fool card. Or someone here is leaving a situation like this. There's no passion either. There's also something about beliefs, beliefs conflicting in, in the marriage too. I'm seeing Aries so far. I'm seeing Taurus. Aries, Taurus, and fixed sign. Oh, and Aquarius, yeah. So this could definitely be a fixed sign. Clarify deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for a non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. We have the sun in the reverse. The queen of swords, here she is. One more. King of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Cups. This is a bad father. There's children here involved. Someone also wanted you to stay stuck on the fact that they're a bad father. Like, someone out here is very irresponsible. You're more responsible than this person. They probably don't take care of their children with the Six of Cups in reverse, or they, they, I don't know, they, they will definitely put money over their children. We'll say that. We'll say that. You don't have time to deal with this person. I feel like you, you're ten times more mature than this person is. King of Pentacles in reverse, that's someone who, so this person not only cheats, this person, um, they throw all their money away or they don't, they're very financially irresponsible. Something about their childhood is very important too about that, but we're not going to get into that. Um, this person doesn't really take care of the things that they're supposed to take care of. You see this. You also see that this person, since the Queen of Pentacles is upright out here, you also see that this person makes you take care of things instead of them. Someone got called out, you called them out, or someone called them out. 
the more that the more and more that they act this way, the more it just wakes you up. Is what I'm getting here. I'm not really seeing that it put. I'm not really seeing that you guys are stuck in some sort of like situation. Your intellect and your intelligence is what is what is what's getting you out of things right now. It's what's making the magic wear off. Clarify allowing. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in every given moment. So what's needed could come next. Get the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Someone here is not allowing this. This could be a situation about you and your person. There could be a, a feminine out here that does not like this change. There could be a masculine out here that don't like this change. Page of Wands. What is this? Judgment in the reverse. Someone also thought that they could use a child against somebody. There's like a lot of sexual energy over here too. What is this? Uh, tell me about the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Knight of Swords. I feel like you guys um, will be meeting someone new and it will be more like um, you're trying to have fun. Okay. Yeah, I feel like with the five pentacles in reverse and the devil in the reverse, it's like you, it's like it's a way to. I don't know. It, it seems a little vibrational, but at the same time, it's it's more like you you're calling out your own justice with this knight of swords energy here. A death card. Yeah, something about cutthroat energy. I feel like something about um, the way someone acts makes you the queen of wands in the reverse. It's like, I will sleep with anyone but you. Like, it's that type of energy. I don't know who this is for. Nine of Swords with a death card out here. Someone thinks you're dramatic. They like the, okay, that's how they gaslight you, though. We have the Five of Wands in the reverse out here. They think that you're dramatic. Nine of Swords out here with the Five of Swords out here. And the Queen of Wands reverse doesn't necessarily have to be sexual, but she's she's gonna be um, she's gonna do what she has to do, even if it seems evil. Knight of Wands reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse, yeah. She's gonna do it because she can. That's what I'm getting here. Radical acceptance, yeah. Justice in the reverse out here. Someone out here wanted to. Oh, I'm also getting about. Okay, there could be a third party out here that um, won't give up on being your enemy. That's another thing that I'm seeing. This person is uh, definitely getting justice or getting karma for that. You're getting justice. Someone out here does an injustice to people. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing um, your person could not be taking care of their kids. Their person, could, your person, uh, I don't know. You guys cannot be around your person, but whatever they're going through right now in their marriage, um, spells are backfiring right now. And your person cannot be taking care of their kids and like literally doing it on purpose because of what you said. That's deep. There's something that a queen of swords exposed. Either she exposed someone that doesn't take care of their kids or what she exposed made someone not want to take care of someone's kids. And I feel like someone is trying to push the, this kid on this person. And I feel like uh, this feminine energy blames you for... Oh, wow. This feminine energy is blaming you because someone doesn't take care of their kids. Wow. Okay, hold on. So they want to do injustice to you or they want to uh, get bring karma to you or something like that. What's going on with this reading? 
We have root chakra out here. I feel like you guys are staying grounded. Someone's attacking was attacking your root chakra. I feel like you guys know yourself. You guys know the, the right questions to ask. Ask the right questions. You're a leader. Okay? Material, diamonds, and gold. What's that about? Someone could probably want to give you something. Or you guys could just be on this type of level to where you're able to provide material diamonds and gold for yourself. We have Devil's Advocate, Elite. Someone is playing both sides. Uh, come out of your shell. We have Witch Coven out here. Someone here was involved in a Witch Coven. Energy harvesting. You're, excel you're excelling spiritually. These people try to energy harvest off of you. These obstacles are being removed. Return to sender. Yeah, this is a secret surprise. Return to sender. Someone here is giving something to you. Someone here is giving something to you. Uh, there's some sort of like magic backfiring on somebody out here. Okay, I'm going to do another reading, guys. Uh, I hope this made sense to you guys. If it did, you're more than welcome to uh, email me if you guys needed any clarity on you and your situation. Um, also... Don't forget to like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.